Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nick and you're watching Astro Exploring and today is new equipment day, specifically the Skywatcher Evo Guide uh, 50mm guide scope and the ZWO ASI 120mm mini. I got this gear from First Light Optics and this is my first unboxing video. If you like unboxing videos, remember to give this video a thumbs up and let's get into it. I'm, I'm really excited. I've been wanting auto guiding equipment for the longest time now and I'm just going to be careful not to stab myself while I talk to you guys. Okay, what have we got? Let's have a look. Ooh, lots of lots of packing peanuts, yay! <laughs> All right, this is gonna go everywhere. Oh, my wife's not gonna thank me for this when these go all over the floor. All right, so guide scope. Let's pop that down there. <laughs> Somewhere in here is gonna be a guide camera. Um, they've, they've packed this really well, which is great because uh, it's really important gear. Okay, there we go. And I'll just double check that there's nothing else in here oh they've gone everywhere who cares it's new equipment day that can go over there all right so guide scope camera the picture on the box is actually i think that one's the mcs rather than the mm mini but the label says mm mini so we'll find that out as we go. All right, guide scope. So you guys probably already know I get all my gear from First Light Optics and I just want to say a huge thank you to them for sending this so quickly. Um, it actually said it was going to be 15 to 20 working days and it's come in about a week. So absolutely amazing turnaround and everyone at First Light Optics has been working throughout the pandemic this whole time to support people like you and me um, who just <laughs> have spent this time trying to do as much astrophotography as we can and um, the guys have done an amazing job. I think a lot more people have gotten into astrophotography this year and that's reflected by the amount of gear that has been out of stock for the vast majority of the year and of course manufacturing stopping hasn't hasn't helped that but I think astrophotography has seemed to have really taken off this year. Um, okay. So opening the guide scope, and the first thing you get to is the instruction manual. Um, this is the little bracket if you wanted to put it in the um, finder shoe of uh, the telescope. We'll pop that to one side. And then we've got, what else is it? Oh, we've got a little uh, T-ring adapter as well. I need to try and get this out, that's quite, tightly packed in there there we go oh that's heavier than i expected that feels that feels really good quality and that is all that is in that box let me check yeah that's everything for that box wow that is such amazing quality i got this particular bundle for two reasons one um, because I've got the Skywatcher Evo Star 72 ED and um, it kind of matches my current setup. So when it's sat on the top of my telescope, that's going to match in very nicely with the uh, green and black there. And um, that's such a good quality. So this is a 50 millimeter guide scope. For the setup that I have, um, 50 millimeters is slightly overkill to be honest, but I wanted to future proof myself. So this has a focal length of 242 millimeters and i know that there are people that actually use the 50 ed as um their primary astrophotography rig. and why not it's a doublet refractor just the same as my 72 ed is but obviously shorter focal length it's got the fpl 53 glass that is widely used across telescopes but namely in the skywatcher evo star range so it's equally capable of um of taking astrophotography 
deep sky images and not just a guide scope. Um, and they've also, Skywater have now released a dedicated field flattener for the 50ED as well. So honestly, you genuinely could use that for astrophotography if you wanted to, um, which I might try one day, but obviously my main focus is gonna be using this as a guide scope. But honestly, that has such a quality feel to it and um, it weighs more than I expected. The 50ED itself is, um, I'm gonna remember on the website, something like 865 grams. And I don't know if that includes that dovetail bar there, because that feels like it would be quite heavy as well. But um, this is a really serious bit of kit. Um, I'm, yeah, I'm over the moon with that. That's great. Um, let's move on to the camera. So this is the ZWO ASI 120mm Mini, and this is a monochrome CMOS camera that will work with um, pretty much any guide scope. It's a standard one and a quarter inch um, fitting that you will find on guide cameras. And uh, <laughs> it's, uh, this is how it looks in the box. And I knew, <laughs> I knew it was gonna be small, but just to just to show how small that is, it you know kind of fits in the in the palm of my hand. So um, that's incredibly small, and I find it absolutely fascinating that you're able to get such a sensitive camera sensor in something that is this small. That is incredible. Um, and then we've got the um, USB type C port and the ST4 port, which uh, the other end of which will go into the mount. Now, if you're familiar with uh, my channel, you'll know that I've been using Astroberry for controlling my camera. Astroberry also has um, PHD2 on there, which is the software that uh, we use for auto guiding. It's free software um, to download. And therefore, I'm going to be using this uh, with Astroberry um, and I'm sure that there's going to be a very steep learning curve involved <laughs> in that. But just look how small that sensor is. That is absolutely incredible. I can't believe how small that is. Amazing. Just to give you an idea of the of the size of this, because honestly, you just can't get an idea for how just how small this is in real life. Uh, if you've ever done any visual astronomy and have got a something like a 25 mil maybe 30 mil eyepiece it's about the same size as that so it is it's incredibly small and then we've got some adapters in the box as well I'm sure I'll figure out what they're for when I try and put all this together and then we've got the USB C to USB cable. So for my setup, one end of this, the USB-C end of this will go into the back of the guide camera there, and the USB 2 part of that will go into my um, Raspberry Pi, rather than directly into my laptop, which is the sort of most common way that you'll find um, people doing this online. And then that is just a longer version of the same cable. And then we've got the ST4 cable. So again, one end of that will go into the back of the camera and the other end of that will go into uh, my HEQ5 Pro mount. So that's all the gear as it comes in the box. I'm really excited to um, get into auto guiding, but honestly, I'm also daunted. Uh, I know that a lot of people struggle with auto guiding when they first do it. I think there's a lot of things that can go wrong with auto guiding, um, but hopefully I'll get to grips with it um, at a reasonable rate and then I'll be able to do a full walkthrough tutorial of how to do auto guiding, which hopefully a lot of people will find useful. I've had messages from several people on my Instagram asking me when am I gonna do an auto guiding tutorial because they're just finding themselves a little bit stuck. Um, and the reason I haven't done one is because I haven't had the gear until now. So. Um, all I need now is a clear sky, as the box that it came in states may contain clouds. Um, I'm not sure when my next clear sky is going to be. There isn't one forecast for another week or so. Um, so we'll see. For now, I'm going to 
connect it up to my Raspberry Pi and just make sure that I can actually get the connectivity right so that when I do get a clear night I can just go outside and not have to worry about any of the connectivity issues that I might get and just jump straight into trying to actually focus on stars with this and also how to actually calibrate guiding with PhD2. So if you want to check out this gear for yourselves I can wholeheartedly recommend buying this from First Light Optics, it's 319 of your finest English pounds. Links down in the description below. If you are looking to get into auto guiding, um, I can't say that I recommend this gear because I haven't tried using it, but I know that a lot of people do, and so um, they must be using this for a reason. They're two you know, very well-known brands in astrophotography and astronomy as a whole, and so I'm sure I'll have no concerns over the quality of this gear and so yeah if you want to check it out for yourself the link is in the description down below why not treat yourself to an early christmas present <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching if you liked this video please remember to give it a thumbs up be sure to subscribe to the channel and leave a comment down below with your auto guiding frustrations <laughs> or success stories and i will catch you guys next time